Good afternoon. Welcome to the 1873 TV. You can watch us on uh, the 1873 TV uh, Facebook page, Mutuma Mawere Facebook page, Mutuma D Mawere Facebook page, and also on uh, Zimbabwe to the uh, You can decide which platform to to take it says we are upside down okay let's see okay <clears throat> i was upside down <laughs> okay amanda is loud and clear though okay he we are talking today about the the press statement that has been issued by the former vice president of for Zimbabwe what is being said i think will be of interest to many, many people. Let's just uh, check what is there. I've posted uh, the the link, so you can see it on the Zimbabwe <clears throat> today. I think it's also being posted on other, on other, on other. Uh, uh, live uh, pages. So let's read first what is being said and uh, then we can all have a, a better understanding of what what to make of it. So let me just uh, get uh, get connected, get the link. Okay, <clears throat> so let me open it. <clears throat> yeah, it's press statement, former Honorable VP E.D. Munangagwa, dated 8th November 2017. My family was banished to Zambia when I was still in primary school for resisting the oppressive rule of the white minority regime in 1955. This action hardened my resolve for justice and black empowerment. I joined the United National Independence Party led by Dr. Kenneth Kaunda at a tender age and have been active in politics ever since. At 18 years of age, I was recruited by the late William Sarulwa to join ZAPU and sent for military training to Tanzania and Egypt. A year later, in August 1963, to be precise, I broke away with some cadres to join the newly formed Zimbabwe African National Union. I was subsequently sent for advanced military training in China, which I completed in May 1964. Some of my group members are Wei, Edson Shiruguru, Lawrence Sose, John Shoniwa, and James Mudawano. We became known as the famous Crocodile Group. Despite the hardships of the times, we operated in Zimbabwe, Rhodesia, traveling entirely by foot in order to avoid arrest. Some of my colleagues were betrayed by sellouts, arrested, and hanged. The same fate befell me in 1965. I was arrested, tortured, and sentenced to death. The death sentence was subsequently commuted on a technicality to 10 years 
imprisonment, which I served in various prisons in Zimbabwe, while at the same time I advanced my education through correspondence. After my release, I was deported back to Zambia, where I completed my law degree. After my law degree, I voluntarily left Zambia to join the liberation struggle in Mozambique in 19, 1976, where I was assigned as a special assistant to the president, Comrade Araji Mugabe. The ro this role was reconfirmed at the Chimoyi Congress in 1977. I have been very close to the president ever since. We have avoided life-threatening situations together. I even doubled up as his personal bodyguard. In return, the president has passed on, on to me life skills which have put me in good stead throughout my long period in government. Our relationship has over the years blossomed beyond that of master and servant, but to that of father and son. My mouth has never uttered a single foul word against the president, nor have I ever contemplated bringing him in harm in any way. I therefore find it preposterous that any sane person can lyrically direct such accusations towards me. Of red, I've been vilified beyond measure. My service to the party and government of Zimbabwe and my public and private posture towards my boss are well known. No amount of lies and convoluted thinking can diminish, diminish my loyalty to my party and, or, uh, and the president. I have never appointed or surrogated myself in any position in the party or in government. I remain firm and resolute against those who plunder public funds and are used by foreign countries to destabilize the party. These same people are presently protected in public by the First Lady, thereby making a, copper, a mockery of our public institutions. I stand prepared once again, just hold on. Hello? Oh, hey. Hi. How are you? Um, this is crazy. I'm overloaded with information. Hey, I'm, uh, I'm uh, live uh, talking about the press statement. Yeah, I saw the press statement. Did we verify it, uh, his press statement? Yeah, I think uh, uh, we have not verified. We don't have a mechanism of doing so. But... Uh, yeah. Uh, Tendai Choto is also asking whether it's a, is it a genuine press statement. <clears throat> yeah. I, I guess it, it looks genuine. It does uh, look genuine. Yeah, and but the, here's the thing: there's conflicting information right now. So uh -huh. It's kind of very hard to process. We have to take whatever it is and what's going on. Um, when I see the press conference that's going on in South Africa. Yeah. With uh, with Muchango and them, the war vets, they are making confirmations about the stories that were circulating yesterday that Munangagwa tried to escape or he escaped already. Yeah, I mean, if you was in Zimbabwe, it will not take a rocket scientist. Yes. To find him. And and to be arrested. Yeah, I'm not sure whether being fired. Is tantamount to being arrested. Well, it's being fired is not tantamount to being arrested, but the way things are right now with all the press conferences and everybody talking about, um, um, especially with his, if he is the one who released that um, that statement, it is um, 
paramount that they were arrested. No, he is not saying anything that is uh, a treacherous thing. I, that's why I would say, let, let's read the statement. Because he's saying that no amount of lies and convoluted thinking can diminish my loyalty to my party and the president. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so... He still, he still sticks to the president. He still sticks to the president. Even in the dying hour. Perhaps the president knows where he is. Because when um, that guy, what, what was his name? Is that Munchanga who was doing the live press conference yeah. in South Africa? You know what he said? Yeah. If you listened very well, he said, ask the Minister of um, Home Affairs and the Minister of uh, State Securities. They know where he is. Yeah. He did not say, ask anyone else. He said, they have a duty to keep him safe. Okay, so... He is safe. Yeah. So, my, my take from that was that he's being kept safe in Zimbabwe or outside Zimbabwe, but by the help of the state. Yeah. So I think, I think uh, let's, uh, uh, I thought it's important for us to share the reading so that we all are looking at this wording of it. Because sometimes when you read a long statement, you actually get lost in the statement. Yeah. Where, where are you broadcasting from? Uh, where are you broadcasting from? You can, uh, you, you can join, if you want to join live on Zimbabwe today. Zimbabwe today? Yeah. I, I have just a few minutes I need to step out. No problem. Okay. Yeah. So, <clears throat> I, I stand prepared once again to pay the ultimate price in defense of Zimbabwe. That's it. So Zimbabwe is ZANU PF. ZANU PF is Zimbabwe. Uh, somebody says, "Can you post the? You can't. Uh, you can't see the link. Let me just check. <clears throat> it's pinned on my on on the wall." Yeah. It's uh, we can you can can they see the full? Yeah, I'm, I'm the okay, so it will be tagged and you can have a look at it. So let me just go to the <clears throat> I am not afraid of anyone or worried about my political future under the current party capture that is being tolerated and condoned by the first family. Here, he is saying the first family. And uh, Lumumba promised to bring ED live at 9 p.m. Let's wait for 9 p.m. <clears throat> okay. P uh, I think uh, what Nangagwa is saying, uh, somebody is asking, uh, who said Zanupiev is Zimbabwe? He said, my position in the party or in government, it would appear that to Nangagwa, the party is supreme and the government is a consequence of the party. I am <clears throat> I'm I'm not afraid of anyone or worried about my political future under the current party capture. <clears throat> I implore all genuine members of ZANU PF to reject this capture by a few individual individuals as I hereby do unequivocally. This is not the ZANU PF we established with the late Dr. J. M. Gomo and other luminaries who have passed on. He's saying they want to keep ZANU PF pure from Afikizol. 
And therefore, the party belongs to war veterans. Listen carefully. The party belongs to luminaries who passed on. This is now a party controlled by undisciplined, egotistical, and self-serving minos who derive their power not from the people and party, but from only two individuals in the form of the first family who have now privatized and commercialized our beloved institution. So they stepped under false pretense that the first family have stolen have stolen the, the party <clears throat> and they have stolen the party from its rightful owners. And who are the rightful owners? This is uh, the rightful owners are people not like you and me. I'm trying to invite uh, Okay, let's see whether we can add <coughs> Okay, looks like that. Is it possible to aid from from your end? Uh, Savannah. Huh? Because I'm, I'm not swimming from Zimbabwe today. Okay. This is Zimbabwe today. Uh, uh, yeah, let's say Zimbabwe today. This now. Okay. But there's a problem in there. <coughs> okay. And that one. I think there's a problem with the with glass. The net, with the network. Maybe. With the glass. Um, No, it's okay. Mm. Slide it that way. Yeah. And then... Okay. Okay. Yeah. Invite a friend. Uh -huh. She's yeah, not on the list. Yeah. Tell her to... Yeah, okay, so you can check on the... <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Let's see... She's not there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so. Uh, she, yeah, okay, let's go. I yeah. should join in and then. Yeah, you can join in uh, <coughs> Savannah. Mm -hmm. uh, or I can phone the, uh, right from here, is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I think.
Okay. <clears throat> okay. Who now have personalized, uh, privatized? It is regrettable. That's now number uh, page two. <clears throat> it is regrettable that after 37 years of unbroken service in government, I am now being hounded out by minos who have no liberation credentials or clear understanding of our constitution in ZANU PF. We must reject this insane and idiotic habit of expelling and suspending members of the party merely because we differ in opinion or have a brighter and more and more progressive ideas of improving the lives of our people. To quote Comrade Araji Mugabe's own adjective, Your Excellency and First Secretary of ZANU-PF, it is said and deplorable that you have allowed our party, our party, to be hijacked by novices and external forces as well as individuals who have a proven track record of treachery. This party is not personal property for you and your wife to do as you please. Now that you have clearly told the world that I am your enemy, who has taken in excess of 50 years to formulate a plan to dispose of you. I now urge all the genuine members of the party to determine for themselves who between the three of us, including your wife and the notorious G40 boys, is the enemy of the party and who the real culprit is in destroying our beloved ZANU PF. Perhaps you can uh, help unpack because uh, that's a pregnant statement. It's a big statement. It's a pregnant statement that is now being it says three of us the judge according to Mnangagwa is and ought to be President Mugabe and who are the parties to be judged his wife number one the notorious G40 number two and himself RG is talking live now. Where is RG talking, Mandla? I hear RG is talking. Where is he talking? So let's check. Uh, we are informed that RG is talking uh, Mugabe Life In Arari Zim DTV Live. <clears throat> okay, let's hear what is being said.
אוקיי. It says one hour it was live. Okay. Let me connect it so that we can all hear. I can hardly hear, so we can proceed with uh, those who are interested in uh, the press statement, we can go ahead. And uh, <clears throat> ZAN PF is angered on core values which promoted unity, peace, and development regardless of ethnicity. Can you hear me now? Simbalashe, can you hear me? Am I audible? Okay, if I'm audible, then I'll proceed. Okay. <clears throat> I find it abhorrent and repulsive to separate the nation by region and province, which is anathema to our founding principles. My emphasis is for the nation to unite, to create peace, and development. This particular accusation is nauseating when the first lady prefers to have the song Zezuru and Congarebo played and sung at rallies she has held many times over. Who is the tribalist here? Can you imagine last week on Wednesday, a, where was Munangagwa last week? Was he a Karanga or was he a Zezuru? Can you imagine what one week can do to someone's life? What one week? can say about who you are. Now we are talking about values that have only creeped in in one week. Assume this is authentic statement and it's being played. It's being circulated. I have been accused of committing treasonous acts dating back from 1980. This is not only fake, but laughable. And the president knows that. Why, why, the people are asking. 
Did you keep this man for so long and not have tried him for treason all these years? These are the questions that were being raised in terms of Mnangagwa's own construction. Those who violate our party code of conduct because they think they have now outgrown ZANU-PF are free to go and form their own parties. In black, Munangaga says, I'll go nowhere. I'll fight tooth and nail against those making a mockery against ZANU-PF founding principles, ethos, and values. Imagine, this is coming 37 plus years. You are being told that ZANU-PF has principles, ethos and values. You and your courts will instead leave ZANU-PF by the will of the people. Now it's the will of the people. Not will of the fighters, the luminaries in whose name ye makes this narrative. And this will do in the coming weeks as Zimbabweans in, in general now require new and progressive leadership in one week. The leadership is now alleged to be new, alleged to be progressive. That is not resident in the past and refuses to accept change. That in one week, we are being told that there is something progressive in ZANU-PF. And that change, authentic change, can only come from ZANU-PF corridors. And my conscience obliges me to uphold the, conduct, the code of conduct of my beloved party, and I refuse to be drawn into a public circus. Religious gatherings should be used to preach love, peace and harmony, not to spread hate speech and political intolerance. It was regrettable that men and women of the cloth were abused this past Sunday, the 5th of November 2017, by none other than the First Lady, who spewed fake news, unfair and irresponsible comments about myself and character in an atmosphere which you should have focused on peace, love, unity and development. This is grossly unfair. And I was never given a chance to defend myself or at least proffer an explanation to the false and malicious accusations against me. Fellow Zimbabweans, and specifically members of ZANU-PF, the time is now to say no to demigods and people that are self-centered and only think of themselves and their families. What one week can produce? It can produce a lot of Statements. Let us bury our differences and build a new and prosperous Zimbabwe, a country that is tolerant to divergent views, a country that respects opinions of others, a country that does not isolate itself from the rest of the world because of one stubborn individual who believes he is entitled to rule the country until death. This is coming one week. What one week can do, it can 
bring wisdom. It can bring sharpness. It can bring amazing grace. We want a country that gives every citizen the right to pro opportunity to prosper. To take care of their families. I wish this was being a speech in 2004 to people of Shawa and Mashawa. A country that encourages in Zimbabweans to invest in their economy. Where have you been? Did it need to take the first lady to take the first strike? To invest in their economy and contribute to the development of infrastructure of future generations. This is part of my vision. When did this vision come about? For a rejuvenated Zimbabwe, one week. And particularly ZANU PF, as I leave this post for now, I encourage all loyal members of the party to remain in the party to register to vote as we will very soon control the levers of power in our beautiful party and country. Control the levers of power. Now this is sabbatical. I am coming back to control. I will be communicating with you soon and shall return to lead to Zimbabwe to lead you If you are looking for a leader, there is one who is not only threatening, but is saying to you, I'll come to lead you. Where to? And where has been Zimbabwe going for the last 37 years? This is the arrogance of power. This is, James McCon says, Munangagwa is our only hope now. And the opposition is too weak to remove Mugabe. If you are looking for a leader, he has already said he's going to lead you. I would like my fellow Zimbabweans to know that I'm now out of the country and safe. My sudden departure was caused by incessant threats on my person, life and family by those who have attempted before through various forms of elimination, including poison. Comrade E.G. Nangagwa, it means he is confirming that he was poisoned. Five days ago, something was taking place. Simbarasham Chono says, like it or not, Mgwena can be a better candidate for us. Mgwena is the only man who can take us through. E.D. is only way out now from the Mugabe's dynasty. Mike Tatenda says, watching, Lee K. Kakono, why you are out of Zimbabwe? Come and help us to build our country. Tasha, do Absalom, madam, stop it. Deja vu, the life of an opposition politician. Kudzanai uh, Mchochoma, at James, opposition is still very strong, we are being told. What is your take of this statement? First, do you think it was authored by the person who we are talking about. David Bakasa, Achata Shemperesu, Trukudawanawa Diki. I guess you are saying something. Mnanga Gwai is saying, I'm coming to rule you. I've just gone out of the country. Lennox Moyana says, Mugabe Ngai Ende. Vincent Murombe, where were you reading from? Twitter, I was reading from a press statement. It's posted on the Zimbabwe today where it's being broadcast. T uh, Tasha Absalom, Madam Stop It nearly killed our Garway. 
So the glass can be half empty, it can also be half full. Martin Gumpamawer, is the statement uh, credible? Yes, I think it's credible. The words seem to come from a person who has not yet decided to attack Mugabe or not. And uh, David Ismango, Vincent Murombe, okay, thanks. Advocate Prislo, Kandemiri Mawere, you are suitable and better candidate. Thank you for seeing something I don't see in myself. Uh, I don't see myself being anything of the above. We need new blood. You failed us. We don't want rulers. We need rulers who are not power hungry. Let's reach Zia. What, what the position of Chiwenga in all this? I guess uh, Chiwenga will speak for himself. There's nothing that we can do to speak on behalf of Chiwenga. And uh, let's just see what our people say. Hello. So that's somebody's view. And uh, James McConney says at the moment we need Muna, Munangagwa on our side. Rangai Chinyangarara 
ED now a card carrying member. Mutapa media, mutapa, pony shmane, shmane kire welcome. Our ma, ma warrior is watching. At the moment, uh, some people say they need Mnangagwa. And, uh, God, we mukadi uyo guara chairo. Uh, I, brother, I'm late. What's the topic? Uh, the topic is a press statement by the former vice president, uh, whose authenticity is, uh, uh, being, uh, uh, challenged by others. Now, Mawere, do you think there's going to be a change? A change, uh, Cornelia Magia, just imagine what last week was like in Mnangagwa's mind. Imagine the first lady had not been booed. Imagine my post story had not pitched up. Imagine the first lady had not made utterances. Imagine president had said, I believe you better than my wife. Imagine what Wednesday will be like. And uh, this is the challenge you get. Bonnie, welcome. Thank you. So change has already taken place. In less than one week, somebody has already beaten the dust. And another one will bite the dust. And another one will bite the dust. So this is inevitable, predictable. And uh, Mnangagwa is saying for 50 years, I've been on your side. Meaning, President Mugabe. But I never intended to be on the side of your wife. Now your wife and Mafiki Zolo, they have hijacked our party, our country. Understand carefully what Mnangagwa is saying. He is not saying the country belongs to all who live in it. He is saying that the country belongs to him and the people who fought glorious battles. He is asserting an argument that Zimbabwe ought to be a reserved country for people who liberated it. If you didn't liberate Zimbabwe, Munangagwa is saying you don't fit the glove. If it doesn't fit, you must not be in state house. This is what the statement is saying. We need Jamisa now. We need Jamisa to do what? If you are looking for a Messiah, Bezo, Anyan, find one. Munanga has already said, I am coming back to rule you the same way he has known best for 37 years. He is not saying he is apologizing for anything. For the country being on its knees under his watch. He is saying no, it's irrelevant. Very soon you say he was blindfolded for 50 years. And we need to sing Amazing Grace. That he was once blind, now he can see. Patrick Motlose. Watching from Botswana. Even the president of Botswana now knows what Amazing Grace can do. That on Sunday, Amazing Grace says something. And someone leaves the country. 
The president never said Munanga Gwa must leave the country. But he says, I am now out of the country because of this woman. Should we call Grace a woman anymore? Because now she's G40, the first round, she has won. Is she still a woman? Because ED is saying, I'm defeated temporarily, but expect me back. Where is ED now, Mr. Maweri Jaws Manyan? If I knew, I would tell you. But certainly, I don't know his GPS. But the mere fact that he has changed the GPS, like Makampa yesterday, 10 years ago, he had to leave. And I think he left thinking that it was going to be one week. It became 10 years. And the, the diaspora, you have now one addition. If Mnangagwa didn't register, he can't afford it. He is out of Zimbabwe because of this woman. This woman. James Makon. Kikikiki. James Makon. Paka Ipa. Apana Ubo Ipa. One week when a woman speaks, she speaks with eloquence and action. My poor story with the audience of the speech that has caused one week to be too long. When Mnanga go wakes up tomorrow, he will wake up again. He will wake up again. Praying for you to do the things that you should have done for 37 years. And he's saying, guys, I saw no evil I had no evil because I am actually a saint. I don't know anything about Gukura Wundi. Me. I am Shaggy. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. I never saw anything. If you think it was me, then you must be mistaken. Me seeing evil in our party of values, of principles. How dare you call me a traitor? I never betrayed my leader. Tafaza says, wherever he is out of the country, he was there at the service of Mugabe. He was serving at the pleasure of Mugabe. He has never said it. Tikachi, why did he allow Grace to walk all over him in the first place? Tikachi, that's history. Now you need the amazing Grace that the press statement is purporting to speak to. Amazing Grace. I a wretch like me, except he's saying, I'm not a wretch. It's our party president. Between me, G40, and your wife, who do you believe? That's the question for Mugabe to think, to ponder. Some people say it's a no-brainer because he's married to the woman who has caused Munangagwa to be a woman like Ngomo, who left, dressed like a woman through plum tree, only to come and become vice president of the same man uh, uh, Munangagwa is talking about. Munangagwa, if you read the whole press statement, 
He is not angry with the conditions people live under. Imagine you put $1,000 in the bank. This is not money, it's value that you have earned. You get there and you surrender 1000 thinking it's under storage then five minutes later you say i want what hundred dollars back and you are told you can't have it then munangagwa is saying no i don't know all that our party was glorious until people booed so we have a boo syndrome. Boo me. And if it's a set lady who's booed. If, imagine if people didn't boo. Just imagine what one week would have brought. Huh? Just imagine one week of no booing. Munanga Gwa will be vice president. Driving nicely in Arari. Flying over people's problems. And he is asking Mugabe, I have stayed with you for 50 years, never thought of killing you. Why would you believe that after 50 years I want to kill you? Then Mugabe also turns around, Munanga, I have treated you as my son. Why would you think that after 50 years I would want to poison you? And the two of them are agreeing. The only person who could have poisoned is amazing grace. That's what Munanga Gwe is saying. The press statement is saying the first lady poisoned me but failed to kill me. And now I have run away from po being poisoned or being thrown in the gutters. So, Munangagwa says, I will never answer for my actions while Mugabe is alive. So, whatever Munangagwa did, the evil that he did in Zimbabwe, goes with him. And when he comes back to rule you, he will say, I didn't know anything. Me. I was just a small mujiba. The mastermind of all this evil is amazing grace. And a wretch like me undeserving as I am. Now I'm back to rule you. Where have you been, Munanga Gwa, for 37 years? While the fortunes of honest people were being betrayed by your own actions. Not in action, not silence, but your own direct footprints. If you ask people in Shawani, what is Mugabe going to do with Karangas? Now you are saying that there is a tribal thing. But in your own backyard, what happened to the jobs? Oh, Mama Oyo, I'm very disappointed in our president. How dare he let himself be controlled by Dr. G and easily forget brotherhood just like that? Unacceptable. Yes, you're saying unacceptable. But look at it. What is Nanga was saying about grace and anyone who is younger than 37 years old? He's saying that you must not have a say as to how the country ought to be moving.
He's telling the whole world that I don't care about the rule of law. This country must be governed, if it has to be governed, by people like me. His only injury is that these people are young. What if it was Did Masumtasa? What did he say about Joyce Mujuru? What did Mnanga go? Does he contain that in the press statement that I'm sorry, my Mujuru? I was a, a beneficiary of your loss. I substituted your seat thinking that I am part of the bus. I thought I was a junior driver only to be told you are no driver at all. But not by the driver, but by his wife. That's where the problem is. The first lady knows that the country is divided into two camps. One camp is saying, let's go back on memory lane that this country is ours in the first instance and belongs to others in the second instance. That you guys don't know how to govern yourself. One of us will come back. Now there are too many war veterans. Didmas Mutasa, Rugare Gumbo, who else? Mamijuru. What Mnanga Gwai is saying, none of the above. I was too loyal to know how to misgovern. And I want to give you the same medicine. Trust me, I wasn't in the past. I was a barking dog. Did anyone hear Mnanga Gwai barking for 37 years? How many people were thrown out of the bus? Did Munanga go lift your finger to say, hey, Nyagumbo, Ngala, Mutumbuka? Where was Munanga when you were when people were accused of buying a car and selling it at the market price? Where was Munangagwa? Now Munangagwa is the defender of the defend, defend, is it? The powerless. That's now what the statement is saying. Tumba James. We definitely need change. We need to unite against the obvious and we need young leadership. I don't know what is young. The problems are not young. What kind of leadership do you want? I don't know from Zambia. Oliver Ma, is, he has never been loyal to anything but to the goblin and his party, not Zimbabwe. That's what Mnanga Gwa is saying. I've been loyal to you. Please rethink. I've just taken leave so that within a week or two, you must divorce your wife, then bring me back. Because your wife has now been bewitched by the G40. Now she doesn't know how I have kept you in power for all these years. Bandumen watching from Kwekwe. China Shishungwaru watching. Kuzanai. Zimbabwe does not need ED and Mugabe. Again, this is the problem that uh, Kuzanai people think that one man can solve Zimbabwe problems, your problems, your hunger, your aspirations, your spirit, your nightmares can fit in Mnanga Gwa and Mugabe's heads. That's what Mnanga Gwa believes. Somebody would have said after 37 years, let me retire and be a counselor. 
Let me retire and offer guidance and share insights, knowledge about what not to do. Let me share ideas that are wrong, that destroy a country. And I was party to this. Let me retire from this politics going nowhere. But no, alas, he say no. I'm ready to roll. 37 years. And Mujuru, what is the career? They all want to be in the business of confusion. Confusing who? You. Ceausescu and his wife. Gaddafi and his crew. Huh? Is it the kind of Zimbabwe that Mnangagwa fought for so that he alone could take the baton. He should be saying, ah, if Australia can do it, if Austria can do it, we can did it. That a president is just an ordinary person. Now we are being told that the president must be a genius like Mnangagwa. He's giving his CV in a press statement. Instead of saying, I am sorry. I was part of this confusion and conflation. The two C's. I willingly, wittingly, was part of this make-believe nonsense. So that I can come back to give you a new dosage of nonsense. Huh? Now we need another liberation. From who? We have had 37 years. Now people are threatening that if we don't get into power, Zimbabwe will never be at peace. Why can't we just say anyone of us is the face of a president? Let's not glorify an office. Once blind, but now can see. So what's next? Uh, Neil Gilbert, yeah? It's always a problem when people are not thinking as we are not. Like, is Kukona, we don't want rulers, we need leaders. I don't think a leader is a good word. What is a leader? Like, is Kukona. A leader is a human being. I would want a press statement say, I'm human. Amazing grace, I've just discovered that I'm a man of flesh. I'm not infallible. I'm just a fallible human being. Ranganai Garu Rakataza Gari Zorore. Kuzanai Sandra Ramewa is joining Mujuru's party. Watching from Zambia, Chilu. Amazing grace is amazing, the sure. Tongai, Shirokot. Yeah. I mean, if one week can change your address, not voluntary, voluntary change of address. If you send an Uber, it will not find you because you are no longer where you are supposed to be back. James McCone says he will be back. Yes, if you are looking for, a, for, a, for another 37 years of nightmare. Kuzanai Machojima is not coming to lead but rule Zimbabwe. We need a, a leader, not a ruler. He has said you come back to, to lead you because you are leaderless. You are headless. Because he alone had the intellectual property to lead people out of their quagmire. James says we need him as soon as possible. No man can be so men can can't be defeated by a woman. Ah he, he is not addressing a woman. He is saying, President, you have been misled by a woman. But he is loyal to the president and not loyal to his wife. That's what he's saying. Elvin Manire, but he's going to come and fight back. Fine, why run away if you can fight? Ivan Manire, 
How can you be fired when you are a driver? So Motikari Amira, Benson Mumba, this is the spirit of Jezebel. Even the prophet ran for his life. James McCon, James McCampus, yeah. Lennox, we no longer want anything to do with anything called Zanu PF. Maybe if Zanu Donga comes back, it's better. Tika Chimutuma, we don't want to be ruled but governed. Yes, what is government? Munagagwa has been in government. But he's not saying anything. He's just saying, guys, I am a leader. He must not come and rule. He's one with Mugabe. We don't want him. Our mama I support Munangago only for one reason. Mugabe has broken the first rule of brotherhood by ruling the country. These five Munangagwa, Grace, Tangirai, Mujuru, all are all the same and they have motive power. All self benefit. Karikam Sekiwa, Lady Gaga, Mawan. Fungwa Serima is watching. Tadiwashe Chizenge. Mr. Mawera, I see you all. I know you are very sympathetic to Grace, but I see you all coming. I'm not sympathetic to anyone. Eh, why would your sympathy be the appropriate word, Tadiwasha? Zeng. Why would sympathy? I eat my own meals. I don't depend on grace to give me any meal. I'm talking as a principal. And all I'm saying is that the argument presented by Munanga is a tired argument. It's not talking about you and me. He's saying let's go back to 1960 Chakuti. Then you find me there fighting a war called crocodile, whatever crocodile, whatever wars, whatever exploits. That was that was what that uh, that uh, uh, listen carefully to what is being said. That we fought wars, crocodile group. That I was part of a crocodile group. Therefore, I'm one of the last uh, surviving. Crocodile. Therefore, I ought to come and lead you because of that. Guys, let's be serious. Mam Gabe is a true war veteran. She's fighting for your children. Her children also want to be in, in government, in politics. They are being told you can never be in politics because you were born after. So, in Mnanga God's press statement, there are two Zimbabweans, one born before and one born after. Then there are two categories of those who were born before, those who went into the struggle and those who were sellouts or outside. Back for war or back for what? He is the evil, Kuzanai Rameo says. Shag reference, reference uh, de uh, dead MC Welfare. Blessing. Maraire. He has finally tested, tested the test of his pudding. Yeah, there are many Zimbabweans who are in the diaspora because of this nonsense. Where is it taking people? Somebody says, waste of time listening to you. Fine, you don't have to listen. It's not, never a waste of time unless you subject yourself to listening. Louis Coucher says, tell Makamba to call me, I can help. Receive love. Oh my goodness, blood and lies. Then it was, who? Munanga wants to come back and rule not to govern. That's Oliver Maha. Kenneth Mudukuti. Makudu and Mamwe. Kusekana Mahob. James Makon, Louis Coucher. Uzai Jaapres, Nunurai Pepe. I believe my wife first. Mtapa media mtap. James Magon, we need it in now. Fraser Mzondo Mdara. Vanga Vashins Vasha Uya. Vava Varoa Sporo. Paka Ipap. She needs more than being booed. She needs to be killed, period. 
I think the whole termination of service is a dick of being cleverly by Zanu. Munanga gets paid for being the scapegoat, leaves the country sponsored by the same Zanu. His termination gains uh, some sort of amnesty outside Zimbabwe. Oliver Ma, he didn't realize how bad Zanu PF was. Uh, bad until he got kicked out. Zanu PF makes people blind. Arthur Nago, Ma Wani Chayo. It's not about being Miss Mawere. Mugabe never liked Mnanga, but there is a family dynasty in the making. Speak about that. That was a thing. Yes. I guess you can never have a family dynasty uh, unless somebody says something. Imagine you are someone born in 1980. You are 37 years old. Multi-millionaire or whatever. You are sitting back and somebody says, the future of Zimbabwe is my business. Because before you were born, I was born into this project. It is my project. It is our project. And therefore you are a nobody. Whatever the constitution is saying, Mnanga Gwai is saying, I see no constitution. I see no evil. I hear no evil. And this is what you are saying. But anyone who says you are just another man, just another human being, why can't we accept that? And allow the people of Zimbabwe to decide without me reminding them of what happened before they were born. Is it fair and just to take me back to a battle of 1960 something and the trial of 1965? That I was sentenced to death, but I'm not dead. So I was spared so that I can lead you. We knew that she's guilty. If the statement is authentic and that's the best he could come up with, then he's even more of a coward than I thought. He's too scared to confront the president on the guise of pointing at the finger at Gaga. His grace, she has managed to poison part figuratively. Mawoyo. Prince Marambukuyana Pakai James Jim is watching. Amazing Grace doing amazing stuff. Fraser Mzondo. Tasha Absalom. But to be honest, Grace poisoned Garwin. Yeah. So she's a bad poisoner. How can you poison fail? If that's what she wanted. Why would she wait all these years to eliminate somebody? Who is not fighting? Who is fighting to be on the side of Mugabe? He's not fighting on principle. He's only fighting so that Mugabe can see him in good light. Isuwe kuchifu taakuzo tonga nyika ya baba mkuru. Kres tonga zako mkoma. Konilia magia. Ivy manyepo undeserving. Suilo Sinko Longo Sharp Tasha, she's still poisoning the whole country Yes sir All these men Were afraid To tell Munangava Where He ought to be Putting his investment Imagine You were in this bus The Titanic and you see it sinking. Then you are thrown back, thrown out of a Titanic, a sinking Titanic. Then you claim injury instead of celebrating. Then you say, I want to come back to the Titanic. 
not to create a small lifeboat. Munanga Gwai is not saying that he wants to be in another boat. The Zanu PF ship, Titanic, has been so good, so glorious, so glamorous, so rewarding that there is no other life outside the Titanic. He, Kuzai Ramewa, he was not poised by, poisoned by anyone. Do you really think Dr. Amai would poison and not achieve the desired result? Be skeptical about this implosion. I already said that. Dev Gujinga, that's Robert for you. Marshal Jagonda is watching. Ken Matenga, Garwe has tested the test of his own medicine. What, go, what goes around comes around. What goes up must come down. Garwe has learned that seven days is a long time in politics. He has not learned. He's still sending a, a love letter to Mugabe. He said, Mugabe, hear me. We have been through thick and thin. How come you have been poisoned by this lady who says all oh, veterans are not your friends? Mugabe and us, we belong to a different class of Zimbabweans. We are privileged to be this class. And this class is destined to rule, to govern, because we went into the struggle young as we were, because we're not fighting for justice. We're fighting to lead. Isaac, who will be the president of Zimbabwe? First lady or former vice president? I don't know. It's a game of chess. It may be none of the above. It may be Mugabe, who may refuse to die. <laughs> and what Mugabe thinks is one year to die. If poison fails to kill Mnanga, what gives him confidence that Mugabe will just evaporate? ADM Changara out. Chamisa Rangai, yes. A, the people want a person. Just be careful to think that human beings, however eloquent they may be, however tantalizing they may be, uh, understand what power ought to be, if it exists. It's true, Maruja poisoned Mnangagwa, yes. If he poisoned, then it's, you call it a boy. I think you can call it abortive poison. Because it didn't work. So if something doesn't work, it doesn't work. It didn't work. Mtapa is watching. James, business of confusion, my one. Do we have any better Marufu? Mandeva. Once amazing is installed, Joshua do it. The boss could easily be next to eat out of the ice cream. Lily and Donga, you are saying the truth. We don't want any more than beer people. Fatal and do a business of confusion. Well said. Are we ever going to enjoy our sim? No, Munanga, we are saying no. Come back to uh, Rhodesia time, 1965. And uh, uh, that's when things were decided. Where were you when we have been fighting for you? Tadiwasha Zenge, why are you, why are you not criticizing Mugabe? You offer a narrow and biased narrative. Mugabe is the one who is to blame in all the, this uh, problem. Yes, I don't know what I can say. The Titanic is sinking. The captain is in there. His crew is in there. Then you want to pick one of the one of the one of the crew members and say that's where the problem is. The the ship could have been going the wrong way from day one. But how many people actually believed Mugabe is a messiah? And now that they believe Munangagwa is a messiah. How many? That was Shizeng. How many people believe this? That Mugabe is a messiah. And he has been driving the ship towards. He was anointed. Not elected. How many people genuinely believe. That actually. God. Created Mugabe. And God caused you to go and vote. How many? How many people believe that? How many people believe that Mnangagwa, in his head, has got solutions for you? 
Not for himself. Because now he needs solution himself. How many believe that? Okay. If there are not many, please just think. Kuzai Ramewa, that's our problem as Zimbabweans. We embrace a better devil. No man, all devils should go. We don't want E.D. or Dr. Amai. Yeah. Every human being has got a devilish character in them. Don't even assume that the only devils are E.D. and Amai. All we do know is that they were in the bus when this medicine was being meted on people. James McGon, we need Mnanga, otherwise Grace will be the president for the next 30 years. I don't know. I guess, uh, James, you got your own world. I can't discourage you. I think for far too long we've been seduced into the politics of exclusion. I'm personally uncomfortable with any suggestion that leading Zimbabwe needs certain groups of people, e.g. veterans. I just... I just think our political field needs to be open. After all, the leader uh, leads the people to a place that is known to both the leader and the people knows. In short, it's not about individual but collectives. This guy kept Mugabe in power in 2008 and now he's shedding crocodile tears. We wouldn't be where we are today if he hadn't protected Mugabe. Calmness. Oscar Tendere, welcome. Bukosi Banda, welcome. Uh, Calvin Matura Moyo. The North remembers. We remember E.D. boasting about how he stole the people for victory in 2008. And as a result, uh, you have subjected us to this perpetual suffering. We will not stand by with you. You have always been grand schema of our suffering. He did no, 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 no. The issue of begging for our sympathy. No, no, stop it now. Lennox, Baji, Pajanaki, Zai Papa, game on. Just to watch big fight. is coming, son. Simba Gurira is watching. Mati Matika is watching. Terrorizing Dara, Atuenda. Ah. Game of Thrones, Sekuru. James McCone. So, Mr. Mawere, you prefer Lady Gaga? I don't, I don't prefer anyone. Uh, don't put me into the game of preference. I prefer actually a Zimbabwe that doesn't have these monsters congratulating themselves that I am a better than the other one. Tapu Amshanga is watching. The crocodile is a, is a coward, Mzion, Mzion, who deserves to be jailed. Marshall Chags. Uh, hashtag Julius Caesar dies eyes of March were a long time coming they will need more each other the children of Zimbabwe deserve a better future than the past Chuck International Ed Liam Magaya waste of time listening to you that's uh, that's good I think if it's a waste of time then you are the only safe thing is not to listen Solomon Mazzivire hopefully Dr. Amaya will give you back your company Hopefully, I, she never took anything from me. I don't expect her to give me anything. Mashaw, Pakaipa, Pakaipa, Mabani Kennedy. Doctor, what's your analysis on this issue? Better they finish each other. Maybe we might have a home to go after a year of suffering. <laughs> they can finish each other. That's their own prerogative. But Zimbabwe needs you. Um, Zion, Zion, Zimbabwe will never be the same again. We needed a man with balls in Zimbabwe. That man may end up being a woman. Uh, Zim, uh, Ashley, Zim man lacks balls. Oliver Mamdara, I don't think he has the muscle to lead Zimbabwe. He was part of the current, current road and he, he was part of the people who denied Changri a clean transfer of power. He created the one center of power. Uh, of power, he was at the center of amending the constitution to suit Mugabe and himself instead of realigning the laws. I agree with Ongo who said all oh, Zimbabwe men are women. Timothy Simbi, 
Uh, thank you, Mr. Mawere, for this live discussion. I'm following them every day in Turkey. Thank you. Jafet Minyok, welcome. Uh, Angie Nyamatao, watching. Uh, Jeff Kurai, where is Mnangagwa? I think Mnangagwa knows where he is. Uh, Timothy Java, watching. Brian Zekiwa, watching. Uh, Wilson Chandomba, watching. Oliver Ma, Nika Yakap Torwa through the barrel of a gun has been taken by G string, Shakaoma. Sam Apranga is watching. Kuziba Nediwe is watching. Cliff Commander is watching. Jeff Zan is taking time bomb. We all have to sit back and relax and reach that vote. Mutuma Mawere, please, Mari Awada Aro. Vincent Kazomba. Can you come back to Zimbabwe and be the president? Uh, Wilson Chadomba, Mr. Mawari, to divert you, you, you agent need to consider reopening SMM Mashawa. Proud Lam Lumbo, no to ED, Brian Trey, Lady Gaga. In a Chichi, good question. I would, I want to be Minister of Finance. Washington resident, watching from New York, Mugabe family will soon run. Prison break, star okoy. Am I my way? I hope people don't get me wrong. I used to be brainwashed and believe son had, had our best interest at heart and I managed to open my eyes. I feel so sad. I believe he will become more. We need Namasa to sit on the throne now. James Mnanzu. No death is better than another. I hope people will vote for the preferred leaders, not the imposed ones. Matikete Fungi, this is so sad for us Zimbabweans. Lady Gaga, Mwari, we are watching Clement Shizua. Uh, Mawoyo, Shamisa is the best candidate, not Church Namasa. Sekuru Zimboti, the future of any nation lies with the youth. Our youth are so passive, and I think it's time to roll up our sleeves and get into the arena of action. As we speak, Wamawasatwa, register, Kufota. So that's where we are. So let me just check whether So I think uh, you have heard the They say he's in South Africa Tawanda Chimpen, Chimpendure AD is the best. So that's the Kudakwashi Makoni. Okay, why did you leave Zimbabwe, Mr. I never, I left for a job in 1988. And I never ran away. I was, I'm where I am. And I've been at the same address uh, for all these years. So the, I think there are people who think And uh, I think there's a there's an echo there. I like this statement. Nyoni watching. The ball has sunk into the deep pool where only the crocodile can retrieve it. I also love him, and he played his part. I like his statement. We're coming back from the diaspora to vote the guy TP with my off days so I think uh, we have uh, let me just check what so
there are 15 comments and uh, let me just go there Okay. I will also love him and he played his part. Uh, God will read you. Hi, Mr. Maweri Antonio. Zimbabwe needs leadership that cares about the country, not power. And I have a feeling we don't have any in Zimbabwe. Why is he giving his press statement in, on foreign soil? There's a woman in Zimbabwe called Amazing Grace. And she decreed that the man must go. And he is gone. Mujuru never left the country, yet she was facing the same charges. I guess a person knows better. And you may find that Munangago actually knows the mischief that he doesn't want Mugabe to know, or the world to know, or you to know. Because you can't stay that long in a sinking ship and claim amnesia. Just uh, too good to be true. That uh, uh, Munangago saw no evil, he had no evil, saw people uh, being thrown outside the bus, actually didn't didn't see it happening and today he produces a, he produces a press statement i don't think that you can be serious what does mukabe say he says of late i've been vilified beyond measure my service to the party and government of Zimbabwe and my public and private posture towards my boss are well known. Why you rejoice in sweet victory for losing your company? She saying, there's nothing to rejoice. How dare you think it's rejoice? Can you rejoice when the very conditions that make Zimbabwe what it is today remain intact? When the very people who were part of this mayhem who issued press statements suggesting that no amount of lies and convoluted thinking can diminish my loyalty to my party and the president. So part of the loyalty was to, to export jobs. Part of the loyalty was to kill the livelihoods of other people. Part of the loyalty was to externalize people. Sizenga says, I never heard you say Mugabe is bad for business. Uh, uh, maybe you need the, you need somebody to give you better ears. Yeah? You need to find better ears. This Titanic started and has been inch by inch going down. When you hear that the Reconstruction of State Indebted Insolvent Companies Act, how can an act have life without the president? Do you really believe it? That Munanga Agua could have been so powerful without Mugabe. It is Mugabe who gave him the, the stage. How did he use the stage? For good or for evil? 
You judge yourself. That was. Does Mugabe know everything that Mnanga was doing as his minister? So, let's look at Mugabe. Let's look at Mnangagwa. Let's look at all the characters above and say, do they fit? Mnangagwa is not saying that he is wrong. Tadwa says, he should know as he is uh, the leader. That's say, uh, please don't find another one and expect a human being to know what has not been revealed to him. Please, Tadwasha, think and think. No human being can lead you where they've never been. Every day Mnangagwa makes, I mean Mugabe makes a decision. It's a precedent. Right now, he's chewing in his own mind. Did I do the right thing? Did I do the wrong thing? All these iterations are taking place in his mind. Can you imagine what is there? That yesterday I had Mnangagwa. Today I don't have him. And only today Mugabe is beginning to know who Munangagwa was. Because people were afraid even to talk about Munangagwa in front of Mugabe because they thought Mugabe was Munangagwa. It's principal. And that the two were had a special bond. Wait until you see. Try Mumperekwa, the evil grace, and Mugabe. What does Mnangagwa say? I remain firm and resolute against those who plunder public funds and are used by foreign countries to destabilize the party, not your life. He's more concerned about this ship called zanu -PF. Yeah? These same people are presently protected in public by the First Lady, thereby making a, pa a mockery of our public institutions. So that's what you have. And somebody will be a matter. I stand prepared once again to pay the ultimate price in defense of Zimbabwe. I am not afraid of anyone worried about my political future under the current party capture. He's saying the party has been captured by the wrong people. It, if it was war veterans who captured it, Mnangagwa will be there. Playing football with Mugabe, 15 billion, where was it? So, you are right, it's a, these statements are pregnant. I implore all genuine members of ZANU-PF. There are some fake ones. Because that's what we are being told. I implore all genuine. Which means there's another category called fake. This is fake members. And... Uh, To reject this party capture, not state capture. So Mnanga Gawal had captured the state, they captured the party. Is that what he's saying? I don't know. We established with the late Joshua, I mean by a few individuals, as they are here by do an equivocally. Uh, Bright would say they took your harvesters. Yeah. Tadwasa Zengam Gabe is to blame his statements correct in his own right as a former party. Okay, let's go ahead. What is he saying again? This is now a party controlled by undisciplined. 
egotistical and self-serving minos who derive their power not from the people and party but from only two individuals in the form of the first family who have now privatized and commercialized our beloved institution our beloved institution that the only problem is that in this ship in this titanic there are, there are people like jonathan kasukwere who have come in to displace them otherwise the ship was okay she's saying i've never been a card holder of zanu yeah we we'll talk about the mines i think tonight I, i'll talk about the mines so that you can understand why you are in danger yourself if you believe what you are what you think you are believing it is reg regrettable that after 37 years of unbroken service in government unbroken i am now being hounded out by minos if it was sekarama hounding him there will not be a problem if it was mugabe hounding him there will not be a problem he is saying that in zimbabwe there are people called minos and there are people who are saying what eh, those other people so zimbabwe belongs to two classes in mnanga gas world those who are the high and mighty and the minos can you see the contempt that who are you to tell me to give me a red card out of a game that i started i architect i was saved from death prison so that i can come to lead you you stupid people that's what you are being told and chizengi you are not hearing what you are being told hey, what is a mino is you and me nobody's that's what is objecting that i can't be chased out of the party by nobody's i am somebody i am coming the rank of joshua ngomo not a stupid yeah, people with no character no personality pride would say they can never outthink ed ah uh, he he has been out thank <laughs> He is no longer a, he says the statement former not current which means somebody has done a hard job we that I, I am now being hounded out by minos who have no 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 liberation credentials or a clear understanding of our constitution in zanu pf we must reject this insane and idiotic habit of expelling and suspending members when others were suspended in 2004 did munanga go offer to resign tadwasha jizenge he was fired if he resigned he would have issued a letter of resignation he, he acknowledges that on sunday he was fired he was fired kuma postori and my postori were the people who did the job so farai maku says Mugabe is bad but ED is no better do not be fooled about that is not he says okay your excellency and first secretary of sanu pf your excellency and uh, first secretary it is said and deplorable that you have allowed our party watch the word our party to be hijacked by novices and external forces as well as individuals who have a proven record of treachery 
There is a record of treachery. Stanley Jerem Tuma, you are correct there. He says we are minos. That clearly shows us that if he had to rule Zimbabwe, he would have been worse than Mugabe himself. He is saying that the party has been hijacked by novices. And who is a novice? It's you and me. Imagine someone you want to vote for called you a novice. And you understand power. That all power is by nature vested in the people. Not in the governors or so-called magistrates. Here we are being told power is now vested in these mighty people. They, you say that the words might... I didn't choose the words from Naga. It's his press statement, Tadiwash. His press statement is instructive because it's his own words. If it is, he'll deny it. But you can't use words and then walk away from them. Other Branda, welcome. You can't do that. McDonald Nambure says, E.D., the statement is, is not consistent with E.D. loyalty towards Mdara. Tadena Magodi, wono mira nani, I don't have to stand with anyone. Chaizo Mutuma, Tatenda, stand on your own. What you are hearing is my words, not uh, an injection of uh, somebody else's words. He still has great respect for Mdara. And I was watching Chris Mutuangwa Sandon's press statement. It seemed ED has been co-opted into the new arrangement, arrangement, which does not have an identity as yet. So, South Africa is foreign. And Mnanga is saying all people who are foreign are bad people. There is no permanent friendship in politics. ED knows now even those who are in ZANU-PF. So now what does he say? The party is not personal property for you and your wife to do as you please. Just one week, can you imagine what words it produces? Now it's called personal property. On Saturday, he was saying Pamberina Omgabe. He was saying he will play the tape of what Mnangagwa actually said. He was giving slogans and at that stage did he know when did he know that the party was a personal property yeah and uh, the mino is there and uh, we also have now now that you have clearly told the world that i am your enemy so if he didn't tell the world what would have been the alternative? So the only sin is telling the world. And uh, who has taken in excess of 50 years to formulate a plan to dispose you? He's saying, no, I can't be guilty as charged because I've been close to you for 50 years. Therefore, I'm the least qualified to be the person. Vernon Peters, welcome. And uh, what else he said here? I urge all the genuine members, which means they are fake members. And uh, Washington, welcome, Rujito. He knows too much. And Zanupiev is now viewing him as a liability, hence he fled. I now to determine for themselves who between the three of us. So ZANU-PF is angered on core values which promote unity, peace and development regardless of ethnicity. Do you agree that ZANU-PF is angered on core values which promote unity, peace and 
development regardless of ethnicity. Do you agree? Kudampov, what are you proposing? What is your vision? You are talking about things we already know. What, what is your strategy for change? Uh, could I, I have no strategy at all except to speak as I am doing. I don't think I need someone to have a strategy. What I do need is for everyone else to think, reflect, introspect, interrogate, and be ignited, inspired to be the change that you want to see. I don't want you to be, to think like me, to wait for me to think, to wait for someone to leave the country and come back to lead you. I don't think that's good business. So, could I, your question is valid, but I have nothing to propose and I have nothing to oppose. If it comes from you, please build the Zimbabwe of your promise by doing something yourself welcome Faison I'm aware I disagree Masuka there's no peace in Zanu if you disagree tell me where you disagree so that you may persuade me to agree with you but I can't ag agree with disagreement I don't think so since Grace came to picture then Tawanda James since you know much about Zimbabwe, don't you think it's your time to be the next president of Zimbabwe? Tawanda, I think we don't need a president who knows too much. Can we just find an ordinary Mino? The people that Munangagwa says must not be in Zanu, must overcrowd him. We want a person who is like you. We don't want a person who knows it all, I'll be worried to elect Mr. Know It All. I will be more concerned if we can't find an ordinary person. Just an ordinary person. Ha, Zan is not aligned with those values. And he did not uphold those values when he was in office, Farai says. All those years, he has, he has dark history. And now he says, now he says he just changed overnight. I'm not buying him. We need fresh person. I don't think, we need to have rules that protect. I'm here and running. Master Dandawa, join my, why should I join you? If master, Keep going wherever you are going. Like Martin Luther King said, if you can't fly, you must run. If you can't run, you must walk. If you can't walk, you must crawl. But keep going. But don't put me in your team. Your team is your team. Let's make Zimbabwe of our dreams. A Zimbabwe when there's no big man who can call other people novices, minos, nobodies. What kind of Zimbabwe do you want? Where you count, you don't count at all and someone says, I want to come and lead you. Imagine Great thinkers, great leaders, like George Washington said, I walk on untrodden ground. Munanga says, I've been, I've been uh, trading on this mill for 37 years. Now I know better. Yet the country is on its knees. The hope of people has been taken away and replaced with hopelessness. Then he is giving you a press statement. To say, I want to govern you. I want to control you. Every bright was everyone who wanted to better the country on a neutral basis was miscommunicated. 
You don't better anyone, better yourself. Right. You have a bright name. Don't make bring it into the woods. There's no brightness in the woods. That was a, Mr. Maurice Zimbabwe waited for a Messiah. So we're waiting for Moses. Maybe he's our Messiah. We are docile speaking. No action. Pride was, is the same poison that made him. All 37 years of only waking up now for ED. Thanks, Bright. That's a very bright answer. Crawl, yes. Do something. Mr. Mawere, Tafara Mariba says, Mr. Mawere, I think you have over delayed your participation in Zimbabwe politics. This idea that there's an address called politics where human beings are not there. Tafara, where do you get it from? Are you afraid of these people? It's some kind of your strategy. You should increase your presence on the ground. The country needs you. The country has no stomach, Tafara. Needs nobody. L don't accept this argument that the country needs somebody to run it. The country has no legs, there's no eyes. The country is just a country of laws. It's created by us. Why does it need to be run if it's a creature of men? Government. It is our government. It is not Mnangagwa's government. Tobias Nambure. The statement is not ED. Fooled me at first on the first page. But when you read further, the language sounds like someone who wants to put the final nails on the coffin. If I were a gym uh, uh, and I read the, that statement, I would be more aggressive toward the purported author. I don't know. But if it's not his, nothing is lost. The issue is that, does he want to be a president or not? It's simple. If he wants to be president, get in the ring. But why would you betray each other and say, and now you're talking about the Zulus, if he's not doing it, then he must disown the statements. So he knows what is the culture of Zanwe. The statement is contradictory. One hand he's saying he is not afraid of anyone. On the other hand, he says he has left the country because of threats to his life. He's afraid then. You are right, Oliver. The man has been confused for too long. He thought Mugabe, he was Mugabe's darling. It's like you. Says, oh, my boss likes me, only to discover. He didn't like you. Then it's a psychological problem. You need a doctor. Did Mugabe like Mnangagwa to be a leader? If there was a vote today and Mugabe had to vote and among the people to be voted for was Mnangagwa, what do you think Mugabe would have done or will do? That is a question for you until we meet again. Those who are interested in continuing this conversation, because there are some people who are not interested. He did not apologize, Brian Musekiwa, you are right. He has no apology, he sees no wrong, he's like Shaggy. It wasn't me, I wasn't not even there. How dare you call me Mugabe's right hand man. But I loved him so much for 50 years. He was like my father. All of a sudden, the statement that went to the political authored by him says a lot. That is the Mnanga where you must be careful of. He said to the political that he was better than Jonathan. Jonathan was treacherous. Vote Langton Chirinda in 2018 for. Don't vote for Chirinda. Vote for yourself. Chirinda will turn up to be another monster if he goes into state house. Not because of Chirinda. Let's celebrate the individuals. 
Let's not vote for a person to go into state house and become a glorified prisoner, but with a lot of say in what can happen in a country. Let's not vote for people. Don't assume that one person is a lawyer, a doctor, therefore he is enlightened. You have already been there. Check what Mugabe said in 1980. Then you discover yourself what happened. So at the end of the day, this is not, this is your country, not the president's country. Let's read this statement over and over again until we understand the kind of mindset that informs it or that informed it. So it is your side to read it. It is your side to analyze Mutuanga, what he's saying. So we can then marry the two. Those who are interested at 9 p.m. to join me in analyzing what Mutuanga said, please say yes by just typing Y. I am taking leave so that uh, we can do other things. We don't eat Mugabe, we don't eat Mnangagwa. We don't breathe Mnangagwa, we don't uh, breathe Mugabe. So let's uh, us retreat, reflect, and think. Anne Sukatsande, yes, nine o'clock. I know last night I didn't make it, but uh, today I'm going to make it. Masuka number two. Sidomba, why? Uh, James 4. Why are you asking why? Why I didn't make it? Or why yes? So, clarify. Washington, Bright, why? Vincent Kazomba, I don't know why he's there. Minara Choto. So, we are coming closer to 10, then we close. Those who are asking why, uh, explain why. Because why is not co uh, complete. Tafara, we all contribute towards making a country. We have been through a lot. We are ve veterans. Clarify why for yes, yeah. So we are meeting at 9 o'clock so we can be able to deal with this Muchangwa statement. What is he saying? And to the extent that there is uh, some connection, bridge between Muchangwa and Munangagwa, what are they collectively saying about you and me? If you didn't go to the war, what are they saying about you? If you are interested in that conversation, We'll have that conversation at nine. I'm not here to provide solutions. I'm here to offer my own views. They need not be the correct views. They need not be final views. But if we take all these views, then we put them together. We may find answers we may be ignited, we may be inspired to do the things that we need to do. And if you are inspired, if you are ignited, please join us at 9 o'clock. Allow us to make a video entrance on the program, yes. I think I will allow it. Please uh, inbox me so that we set it up before. No, I said, okay, I said, uh, if you are available, you don't have to write why. Just, yes. Why, oh, oh sorry. <laughs> why for... <laughs> Alphabet <laughs> why, sorry. So, Vincent... Uh, you are welcome to uh, participate in the platform I'm in. And between now and then, you are also welcome 
to be the change you want to see. Don't wait for me. Because if I die before 9 o'clock, I would want Vincent to keep the conversations going. So that we don't have to wait for someone to come back. And uh, I, I would hate to be in a country where I have to wait for somebody who has already been inside to come back, inside where, when it's smelling inside. Who oh, buffers again at, uh, at uh, nine o'clock? Let's talk about professionals. Let's talk about the, the what is it that needs to happen? Who is going? Let's hear what the old veterans are saying. They may be saying something about you. Set Bruce George Jackson, set a timetable. It's a timetable, but please inbox me so that you, you tell me because we also have comments from other people. Okay. Then uh, uh, Richard Manu, Ma, Munyama Mutuangwa and some of the war veteran statement in, in relation to the succession debacle have not been helpful. Comrade Munangagwa, today he's a corner. So I think that is the. Let's talk about things that matter, not about people who matter. So let's uh, try to exercise ourselves of this messianic and this uh, leader know it all syndrome the big man syndrome let's uh, just be average so if you want to be average listen to us at uh, the nine o'clock thank you very much for your time and hopefully uh, can you contact me before the show he has already said i don't talk to mchangwa myself so I don't know if you would agree to come, but uh, uh, it would be unusual if he comes. But if he does, then invite him, Vincent. Can you contact him and say, let's hear what you are saying? Because I don't want to be another Mugabe, please. I don't want your vote. I just want you to think for yourself whether Mchangwa is using a rear view mirror or the windscreen. Surely should we use a reverse gear? Alf Alfos Chuma says, I remember how they destroyed your private... They didn't destroy my private investment. They destroyed people's lives. And these are the same people who are saying deja vu. We want to do more of the same. And you can't correct a mistake by, by repeating it. So, I think, uh, uh, yeah, someone says uh, we should not have statements. Fine, I think let's deal with that. Uh, at 9 o'clock, Mimi Maya, yes, we need more action. But action without thought is dead. There are many people who have acted without thinking, without knowing all the problem. Imagine I'm a doctor. I start cutting your leg without knowing what you, what you are suffering from. So let's not uh, try that again. So let's uh, diagnose the problem. Let's hear what Mnangagwa is saying. Let's hear what Mtangwa is saying. Let's hear what Amazing Grace is saying. And let's hear what Mugabe is saying. Why does he want to be president for another five years? If he knew what I knew, he would have said, I've wronged you people. I wish you the best. And sing a new song. So those who want amazing grace to be sung, there's, a, there's somebody who can do justice to it. So please, yeah, it's at yeah, uh, uh, nine o'clock. Yeah, I think we just have uh, uh, twelve minutes. Is anyone in the, interested in listening to Amazing Grace? 
Because I think there are many people who may need that song today. If you are interested in the song, please just type Y. If I get five, then I'll ask someone to sing. Because I'm not gifted. Anyone interested in Amazing Grace? So it looks like Ngoni Zashe, number one. Uh, Alphos Chuma, number two. Bruce, number three. Tendai Sanchez, number, number four. Larry Dumps. Yeah, I think we are there. <laughs> So we have uh, Oscar uh, Tendere, who will, uh, is part of a group called True Verb. So he will sit, uh, he will sing for you, and uh, and uh, okay, amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. But now I'm found was blind But now I see yeah, yeah. All right. And uh, that's uh, it, Amen It was grace that saved me. <laughs> Echo, you want another one? Okay, Tuma, I remember you were supportive of the regime. I wish I could know where the regime is. And, uh, and uh, Richard, I wish I knew what the regime is. Then I would be a friend of it. And uh, uh, I cannot be associated with zero. One plus zero. I think they they want you to to finish the song. <laughs> you got the words. Okay. So you do one angle. So it was grace that told my heart to see. Oh, if it wasn't for this mercy, how could I ever know what I didn't know? Oh, I'm now, I'm now playing around with the song. I just forgot the lyrics. Oh my! Yeah. Okay, so it was grace that told my heart to see, and I'm forgetting the other words. I'm forgetting the lyrics. Okay, so I'll fix it, fix it up for you guys. Um, when are we doing it tomorrow again? Sometime, is it? Yeah, uh, yeah, but I, I, I'm joining them at nine o'clock. At nine, yeah. So, yeah, if, you, uh, yeah, I, if you want to join it, there nine. is a there is a yeah. So, do you want him to finish the song? And I forgot the lyrics, yeah. Blessed, 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 okay? Okay. Let's see if we can get the lyrics here. 
Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Amazing. Amazing grace. We want you to, <laughs> <laughs> to finish. <laughs> you can see. Okay. Okay. Let me let me take these ones. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Come backwards. Mm -hmm. Um go back to your Google. What is it? Yeah. Lyrics. Lyrics. Okay. I think we've got uh, the lyrics. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, right. I have them now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Perfect. Right. So I'm starting from the second verse now. So it was no, no, great from the, yeah. from the top. Mm. Okay. Amazing grace, how sweet that sound that saved a wretch like me. was blind but now I see yes. it was grace that told my heart my heart to feel and grace my fears relief how pray how precious did that grace that grace appear the It was grace that brought me safe this far. And grace will lead me home. Oh, the Lord has promised good to me. <coughs> As long as life enjoys. Yes. Okay. Musa is a prophet. Okay. So I think, uh, uh, Albert, that's uh, Oscar. Is that you, Oscar? <laughs> Okay, Matsiva Talin Jumo. Yeah. So I think on that score, Mnanga Guys has come, has come this far because of Mugabe's grace. That grace is no more. So when the grace is gone, but Oscar was singing about amazing grace, not the grace in power but the grace that is given for free, undeserving to a wretch 
like all of us. Mnanga is saying, no, we eat not for Mugabe. I wouldn't be what I am today. So, my father, why have you forsaken me? And uh, Vincent says, I want to learn. I think that's the only thing, the purpose of this show is just to learn. So as we agreed, we are going to meet at 9 p.m. Central African Standard Time. Is it Central African Time? Yes. Yeah, so we can journey through on these facts. We all don't have answers. We don't pretend to know better. But you have answers of where you want to go. And that's what we are doing daily to be able to create the future that we want. Not the future that Mugabe wants. Not the future that the First Lady wants. Not the future that Munangaga wants or the war veteran wants. That's our future. So you have a stake in it. If you do nothing, average people will always be the smarter people. Don't be average when others pretend to be smart. Thank you.